Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's an honor to have you here on this channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, we do weekly and daily horoscope updates for your sign in love and in life because we believe love is the most powerful catalyst here on earth for growth, transformation, and helping you step into and find your soul purpose. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you want to be part of the soul family, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. And if you do find this video impactful, do me a favor, hit that like button. It helps this channel and video grow so we can, of course, guide more people. Now, we're going to get right into your reading this week, uh, Cancer. This is a channeled uh, reading for your sign. Um, uh, and we're going to start off with, again, uh, if, you're, if you've been here before, opening the ceremony, calling in my guides, calling in your collective guides, and getting immediately whatever channeled messages straight from source that want to come through that you need to hear. And then we're going to be getting into a channeled tarot reading. And this is uh, specifically for your love situation, situationship, or clarity in and around a certain person, channeling for the divine, beloved, and twin flame connection. Okay? So welcome again. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, last thing I'll say is if you resonate with this reading, of course, there will be an extended reading where we dive into the energies of your person, how they're feeling about you, how they're thinking and seeing you, and additional clarity on what the universe has to say about this union. Okay? So if you resonate, there will be an extended link in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Spirit, opening the ceremony now for the collective sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, rising for December 17th through the 24th of December 2020. Calling my guides, spirits, angels, ancestors, loved ones, and archangels in order to help guide this ceremony. Also calling in any angels, guides, loved ones, masters, and guides from the collective sign of cancer who would like to join this ceremony and give divine guidance for the highest good and healing of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. The ceremony is now open. Okay. Before we get into the reading, let's go ahead and tap in and see if there's any channel messages that would like to come through straight from source. Spirit. We see you, loved ones. We see all of your work and your progression, your progression towards independence and power, and we see this as an exciting and versatile thing. We know that this thing has a lot of momentum for you here in your life, and we are asking you to simply go with the flow at this time and to move forward with that momentum, independent and freely of other energies or other things that might want to deter or hold you back at this time. We t see it as a time of solo... Uh, action and empower, empowerment in your life um, that will enable you to reach many of the goals you have thought of or even dreamed of when you were a kid or years ago that have been dormant inside of you. Now is the time inside of your body to be able to bring them out into the earth to be manifest. You have an amazing, incredible opportunity this time. Make sure and not wasted cancer. It is here for you and is here for a limited time. Move forward move forward, move forward. Okay, that's it. Wow, very powerful. So yeah, to sum up that energy, um, I was feeling, uh, I was just seeing like a figure who maybe was dancing in the past, but very much shifting into like progression and like mo uh, momentum and motivation to get things done, but then it was also like in a very natural way, like it wasn't forced, you know what I mean? So I feel like there's a big momentum surrounding you this week, uh, Cancer, that Spirit is asking you quite clearly to just ride the wave um, of this energy to move it forward. Um, and yeah, to really kind of, you know, it's not like shutting people out, but it's really just kind of like doing your thing, you know what I mean? And like if someone's not full alignment with that or like, there's things that are just kind of uh, taking you away from that, whatever that is. Uh, there's no need to really be involved with it right now, you know. So, so if there, I'm hearing if there's anyone you're shutting out, you'll be forgiven uh, because of it, because of this. They'll they'll understand. People will understand. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna do a, a little bit of a different type of reading. I just got the uh, Thoth Tarot deck from, with uh, made by Alistair Crowley, or originating from Alistair Crowley, and I absolutely love it. I think it's a naturally made deck for me. So, um, yeah, we're gonna 
we're going to be doing a little bit of a different style of reading where there's a little bit of a format to it. Typically I just do in the flow reading, but I'm putting a little bit of structure into it this time um, to get a little bit more context here. So it's a 10 card spread and it's a little bit of an ancient spread. Well, let's go ahead and get into it here. All right. So I hope you can see all this correctly. Yeah. All right. So the way it works, I'll kind of explain as I go along, but each of these cards has a different meaning. Of course, if you're familiar with tarot, this is the way a lot of tarot readers do it. Um, the first card here in the middle is your present position. So where you're at currently and what's going on. This card over the top of it is the immediate influence into your present position. So we're going to look at your current energy and then what's uh, crossing it over the top. Three is the goal or destiny. Okay, so what your goal is right now and the potential destiny, should these things say the same. Four is the distant past, past influences affecting the situation. Five is a uh, recent past, uh, um, things affecting the situation to know about for context. Six is the future influence, okay? So um, what things may come into uh, influence this situation in the future. And then um, additional context about the questioner, uh, environmental factors to be aware of, inner emotions, inner emotions, and then the final result or overall outcome up here, okay? So I really am excited to start using this spread more and more. And let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so in your present position, yeah, we have the card of worry, okay. <clears throat> so the five of pentacles, or the five of discs here in this deck. Okay. So Cancer, yeah, I feel uh, you might be under a lot of stress or burden at this time. Uh, you might be actually working on your finances and your abundance as well, and really coming into a lot of accumulation or feeling confident in that, right? But there's some situation that you're still worried about. It could be in and around love, uh, the concern around that, not sure if something's going to come through, wondering, wishing, waiting, hoping, um, just overly concerned or a little bit burdened by that, despite other things seeming to feel good and go well. Uh, crossing that five of discs here is the um, uh, the high priestess here. Beautiful. Um, so that's so that's wonderful. So what I feel here um, is crossing you is your intuitions. Your intuition is here to guide you through this worry. Okay. So you 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 already know if you're watching this, you are quite powerfully attuned with the divine, quite powerfully able to receive messages from your intuition to use those messages from your intuition for healing, guidance, and hope and clarity. All right. So Spirit is saying quite simply, if and when you find yourself in this burdensome place of feeling hopeless, feeling sad, worrying about a situation, stressing about a situation, feeling in lack about it, feeling lonely over it, okay? Um, utilize your intuition and ask for guidance here because the answers will come straight through at this time. You're very much in tune with that. You just have to learn to trust it and to rely on it for solid answers, which I feel you are doing and getting better and better at. But Spirit is saying that is your solution here if you're concerned about that. The overall goal and destiny of what you're trying to create, sorry, these cards are new, so it's a little hard. Uh, the Queen of Swords here. Okay. So the goal here is actually yeah, to detach uh, from a situation. So you might be trying to detach from a situation or disconnect from your emotional investment into uh, whatever it is you're worried about. Um, and that might be causing you the worry, okay? So you trying to detach from this situation and to regain your independence and power uh, and clarity, okay, um, might be causing you to worry, oh, if I detach, will they ever come back? Oh, if I detach, if I walk away, if I put my guard up, if I care about myself, um, is, it, uh, is it something that could ever actually be manifested if I do that? Uh, and the answer is yes. I just felt my whole body shudder with the word yes. If, if you do that, that's actually what brings things through for you, okay? So rely on your intuition here because it's very strong to confirm this for you, but yes, the answer is detaching, is letting go, is kind of caring for yourself, moving forward with yourself right now, just as was channeled in the original uh, downloads or intuition that we got before the reading started, and um, I feel you don't need to question that anymore. In the distant past, we have the tower, and the recent past, we have the star card, okay? 
Yeah, so in the distant past that affected all of this, there was a sudden, tremendous shift in and around a situation. Okay, could have been a relationship breakup, could have been a job change, could have been a drastic change in your environment. But either way, your world got completely shook, rebuilt, and broken down. And, um, you know, this whole process I feel that's being affected is your process of rebuilding your sanctity, your power, your independence, your happiness within, in and within yourself, and it involves detaching from the situation, right? So whatever situation you were in before previously that needed to be towered or broken down, that happened so that you could actually learn to rebuild yourself um, and find the power, strength, and independence and new you in order to move forward. And so, the, the reason why the Queen of Swords is here as the goal or destiny is because um, it's essential to detach yourself from the energy of that past situation right now, right? The Queen of Swords asking to cut that out and to separate, to rise above, um, because that energy from the past situation, again, worrying about it, holding on to it, waiting for it, all those things, not good, right? Cut them out. because. Really, the truth is, and we'll get more clarity as we go on. Well, actually, we do have clarity here with the star card. The truth is that it's a divinely guided situation. And this tower here was divinely guided as well. And it's time for you to fully have trust and faith in that and to allow everything else to come together as it needs to um, in the divine, in and from the divine, right? So you no longer need to hold on energetically to whatever that is or to worry about if you detach that's going to be gone or whatever it is. Your only job is to detach from that past energy, that past situation, whatever it is you're, you are feeling around that, and to fully trust and allow and ask for guidance from your intuition and the divine to take care of it and to bring you back together. Okay, so the recent past here is the star card. So I feel you've come into or received divine guidance to detach, and that's why you're trying to with the Queen of Swords here. But yeah, it's hard, it's scary, it's worrisome, you're not sure if this is the right thing to do. Um, and it's just a matter of having faith and uh, belief that, yeah, even if you detach, actually the, what I'm feeling is the more you detach, the more they come to you or the more it's able to progress forward, interestingly, right, in and around a situation or a person. Future influence here, we have the emperor. So here's your divine masculine right here, okay? So this is someone here in your life that comes to claim you, I feel, that's powerfully showing up to show up. I'm just feeling a very strong, like, I'm here energy um, to claim, okay, or to influence the situation. So this situation, so it's, so what's interesting here, again, is that the moment you detach with your goal or destiny, look what happens in the future. The emperor comes in, the divine masculine comes in, all right? Cancer obviously showing up as the divine feminine. So, um, right, how funny is that? So the more you detach, again, the more you allow space for this person to evolve, step up, and to come to you, to claim you, because that's, that's what the destined path is here that I can see. Okay. Uh, more context around the questioner is the Knight of Cups. So definitely right here, um, you know, it's, it's really, uh, yeah, it's really something that you, like your present position here, right, is just really wanting to have this incoming offer or hoping for it, yeah, waiting for it, wanting to receive this, okay? And really in a place I feel where you are getting more and more ready to authentically receive this, okay? Also, this could potentially represent maybe um, starting to open up to be able to give your cup to someone or something else. Not really feeling that as strongly, but that could be a possibility for some of you, okay? I'm really feeling that this is an energy of reception, of wanting to receive, knowing you need to receive this cup of love from your knight in shining armor. Okay, environmental factors here. We have the wheel of fortune, yeah. So all in and around your environment, okay, is the gifts from the universe that the universe wants to give to you, all right? You have, again, a tremendous opportunity to move forward, to receive, to uh, engage in activities that are going to bring about everything you've wanted in your life, everything you've dreamed of in terms of finances, in terms of opportunities, in terms of impact for other people, they are showing up here and now. Okay, this is literally showing up in your environmental influences factor. The wheel is turning in your f uh, favor. So the only thing you gotta do is let go of the feeling of worry or burden about 
what you don't have right now or what you think's not coming in because there is so much more that wants to come in. Um, it's not even funny. And the situation that you're probably worried about is also included in that and just in a different way or package or timing than you might have wanted originally. Okay, But it's about giving that up, letting that go, detaching from a situation and allowing the divine to take care of it in the perfect way. Inner emotions is the hermit here. So yeah, I definitely feel like now this confirms with the Knight of Cups that it's, it's about you receiving, right? So I feel you're spending a lot of time with Source here. Again, really very much on your own, independent, okay? Um, figuring things out, getting new clarity. Um, and just not, I, what I'm really feeling with this is not really bothering or needing to or wanting to bother with other people right now. You know, and just being on your own and doing your thing is totally fine. And it's a really good and healthy thing, actually, is what I feel here. There's no need to, you know, go out and be active and be with other people all the time right now. In fact, yeah, it's just... It's okay if you are spending a lot of time on your own. I think it's very healthy in this position here. Now, the final result or the overall outcome here is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords. Interesting. Okay, so what I feel here, this is, um, what, the first word that came to me is clarity. Okay, so clarity. Now, this in this deck, it represents, the Two of Swords represents, you see the word peace. And that peace comes through basically um, the restlessness of the mind, the over-restlessness of the mind leading to you discovering and solving the root issue of fear or concern or, right? It's finding the clarity underneath it all that is causing the restlessness and overactivity of the mind. So it's finding peace through the restlessness of the mind. So the overall outcome here or destiny and for this week alone is to find uh, complete and utter peace in your situation. And I feel that that's going to come through listening to your inner guidance and also by detaching emotionally from the situation, okay, and from the feelings of lack, fear, and um, even abandonment, right, in and around this person or the situation. Know that, right, your divine masculine, I feel, is... Uh, stepping up into their power. This is a future influence though, so we don't know when this is going to come. But for you right now, it is about just cultivating, being on your own, allowing the universe to give you everything that it wants to give you, the Wheel of Fortune, and finding a way to find your own inner peace through the chaos of the mind, okay? Yeah, it's around, um, because it's not so much like you're, you're at a, two of swords can sometimes mean crossroads. I'm not feeling that in this situation. I'm feeling more so it's like the mind is going in so many different directions. Like one minute your mind's like, oh, it's going to happen. Everything's fine. And the other minute it's like, no, it's never going to happen. I'm never, this is never, you know, it's this or that. It's like the mind goes crazy and it keeps crossing itself, right? And it's like, okay, underneath that though, how can you find your peace and what would it require for you to find your peace? Well, the answer is detaching from it emotionally, not necessarily detaching from the situation or person permanently, but detaching from the um, current circumstances you find yourself in and in and around the situation or with this person so that it doesn't drive you insane and you can find your peace, enjoy life and receive the abundance that wants to come in for you. Beautiful reading, Cancer. Very strong. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have, yeah, we have the nine of discs here, so which represents gain. So um, <coughs> definitely here, if you want it, I feel uh, lots and lots of abundance, stability. I mean, the opportunity to work on and be in your dream life financially. So again, um, my encouragement, too, is to have very high hopes and, and to really dive into your dreams, your curiosities, your talents, I mean, whatever it is that gets you excited to move forward that will occupy and, and, and allow you to invest your energy and time into that's genuinely helpful for you, that's the things I would go towards, okay? And also to allow yourself to be open to and receiving those, uh, those dreams and fantasies that you once had uh, growing up, okay? So, um, Cancer, I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you enjoy this new style or format of reading. It kind of gives a little bit more structure to the reading. Uh, typical, uh, you know, atypical to what I typically, <laughs> atypical to what I typically free flow in the reading. 
Um, so anyways, let me know. I love this deck though. Very inspiring, very clear to me. And uh, I appreciate you. So um, if you resonated with this, you want to go deeper, I will have an extended reading in the description box below. So check that out if you'd like. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want those continued updates. We'd love to have you. And do me a favor, if you liked, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to hit that like button. It helps this channel video grow so we can guide more people. Cancer, thanks so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now. I don't know if we could stop the video. There we go. Bye for now.